Hiciste. Fury mares may be swift as the wind. Not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Care now. Go, and in the world glory. Greetings. Greetings, and praise. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, world. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even at... <laughs> but my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. You a craftsman, or a mage? Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria, runecraft, familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications has my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words too can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. 
Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design, they were. Specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? Could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this'll be a good investment. The way you talk about your art sound more like a man of faith than scholarship. Faith and scholarship for you lie in conflict. Yet in my land, holy men are scholars. Wisdom, their source of esteem. The Afiri believe in any gods? From region to region this varies. Raised I was to believe in one god, the world. <laughs> Symbols are God's speech. To study his words is to draw nearer to him. Symbols, meaning runes and glyphs. Mere signs are these. An attempt by men imperfect to describe the world. Yet a magic to them there is. And from God, all magic issues. When runes I create, when into words I arrange them, this is prayer. And when into swords I enchant them, that is my benediction. Can't help but wonder what brings you to our lands. A simple thing. For knowledge, a thirst. All he could, my mentor had taught me. The tongues of our lands I'd learned, of all our plants and animals I know the names. Risked that long a journey to learn new words. A life of plenty I would have lived at home, for the beauty and import of my art are respected. But such a life would be unfulfilled. Great and diverse is the world, for a pace continues its creation. A riddle it is, which through symbols speaks. The world's tongue to learn, I wish. The signs by which it speaks to discover their syntax to master, through this to learn the principles of creation. Got some coin on me, is enough? A uh, start it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm, see what I can do.
Jade here. Need to keep looking. 